Hi guys! First of all, don't mind the no makeup. Second of all, don't mind the space heater back there. Sometimes it gets really cold back here, so just warming it up a little bit. Third of all, I really want to thank you guys for getting me to 300 subscribers. I am blown away that I even made it to 300 subscribers, but I am so beyond thankful and blessed for all of you that have subscribed and that watch my videos and comment and interact with me. Like, I love you all so much more than you would ever know. I'm so appreciative of you. You guys are seriously the best. Um, I don't know if I have a video for you tonight. Um, I did just do um, a small Target haul for you. I did want to review something, though. Something I got from um, Dollar Tree, actually. So, um, one of my last trips, I bought this shave gel by personal care um it's moisturizing with vitamin e and aloe vera and it's in berry burst now it smells good but it is strictly a gel um this it reminded me of the stuff i used to get from target that came out as a gel but it would foam up as you rubbed it on your legs this did not do that it was just a gel and when i shaved with it it hurt almost like i was dry shaving so I don't really recommend this unless you really like using shave gels. Um, so I might see if maybe my sister wants to try this. But for me personally, I just didn't like it. But I just picked this one up in my last haul. And it compares to the EOS shave gel. Um, it's also by Personal Care. It is Advanced Smooth Glide Formula Moisturizes and Nourishes Flawless Shave Cream. Super Smooth Shave. Um, it's in pomegranate and raspberry, and it says it's formulated with shea butter, aloe vera, avena, sativa, which is oat, um, extract, and vitamin E for skin conditioning. It is paraben-free. The stuff is awesome. So, I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I like to just, like, when I'm in the shower, I like to just enjoy my shower. You know, like, I'll wash my hair, I'll clean everything, but sometimes I just don't feel like shaving in the shower. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll shower, I'll do my thing, I'll enjoy the hot water, and then I'll wrap up in a towel so that I can kind of dry, but I'll sit on the edge of the tub and turn on the warm water a little bit. And while my legs are still wet, I will put some of this on my legs and shave my legs that way. So I didn't take a shower or anything, but I did go just quickly shave my legs so that tomorrow when I do shower, I don't gotta worry about it. And I decided to give this a try. It is so awesome. It doesn't foam up. It really is just like the EOS um, shave cream. It's almost like a lotion that you're rubbing on your legs, but I rubbed it all over. And my legs, like they've never felt smoother after shaving. And you cannot beat this for a dollar. Like I said, it compares to the EOS shave cream. It says it right here. And what is that one? Like three, four, maybe five dollars? I would highly recommend you check this out. I think they also had a purple bottle, with, which is probably a different scent. But um, if I do get to go back to Dollar Tree on Wednesday... So Wednesday may be my last time going back to that Dollar Tree because I think my mom is leaving this coming weekend um, on Sunday. So Wednesday may be my last hurrah going to that Dollar Tree, but I will have a haul for you, I'm sure, as long as I have the money. But if they still have the purple bottle, I'm going to look at it and see what um, the scent is and maybe I'll grab one. If they don't have the purple one, I definitely want to get another one or two of these to have on hand because I actually really, really like it. And you can't beat it for a dollar. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, um, all of you that do enjoy going to Dollar Tree and trying to find things that you normally get at a regular store but you want to get it cheaper. Definitely try this if you like the EOS Shave Cream. This is so good. Um, now, I don't necessarily care for this. I mean, the scent smells good, but I don't care what scent I use. So whatever the purple one is, I'm not going to care. I just really liked it. But I just, I'm interested to see what the purple one is scented like. But I definitely want to grab one or two more of these. I really like it. I would stay away from this unless you personally like just using gels to shave with. I like gels that foam up because I feel like that just helps with the shaving process. 
So, and I, I'd hate to throw this away because it's like full. I only used it once and I hated it. So I might see if maybe my sister wants to try it. I don't think my mom uses like shave gels or anything. So I'll see if maybe she wants to try it. And if she doesn't like it, she can toss it. You know, I just hate to waste it. I'd rather give it to somebody before throwing something out that somebody else might use. So... But yeah, that's really all I've got going on tonight. Um, I actually <laughs> got my Animal Crossing and Pretty Little Liars on back there. Um, I, like I said, I did a small Target haul. I got a few little knickknacks, but it was mostly groceries that I got. And um, I don't know. Did you, look how cute. I know I showed you guys, but isn't this the cutest little notebook? I love that it just says like private. And the flowers are so pretty. It's that matte, soft touch. Let's see if you can tell in here. You really can't tell, but the pages are, like, tinted pink. They're not just white pages. And, like, the back, I don't know. I love how it looks. It's just, I had to get it. It was $5, and I almost got this really cute, like, smaller hardback notebook that was marble and in gold, it just said notes on it. I almost got that one. That one was like $6.99 and it was on sale for $5. And then I almost got this bigger spiral notebook. And I forgot what the saying was that was on it, but I really liked it. But that one was $7 or $8.99. So I was like, I'll get one of the $5 ones. And when I saw this one, I just had to get it. It was really, really cute. Um, again, I don't know if that's the one I will use to, like, write letters to my dad in or not. I always get so wishy-washy about that, but I'm just a weirdo when it comes to notebooks. Like, I, I have notebooks for, like, specific things, and I, there's another thing I collect. I collect notebooks. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. If I see a cute notebook, I really want it. <laughs> Do I need it? No. But, anyway... I just wanted to come on here. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 300 subscribers. That is so amazing to me. I never thought that I would get to 300. Um, it felt so far off for me. Um, but because of you guys, I am here and I appreciate you. And I thank you so much for watching my videos and connecting with me and making me feel like I have a ton of friends out there who understand me and get me and know what I'm going through. It's so nice to feel understood. Um, so yeah, um, maybe I will vlog a little while tomorrow. I don't know what time we'll get up, but when we wake up, I know I'll be making breakfast and all of that. I kind of want to make another peach pie because I bought the stuff for another peach pie. Um, so who knows, maybe I'll do that. Oh, I did not get all of my mascara off earlier. Ugh. I mean, it's easy to come off. It's the Thrive Cosmetics one, but it's just, like, my eyelashes were sticky. Um, but anyway, so maybe I'll vlog for you guys tomorrow. I doubt we'll do anything fun. It's been pretty cold out. Um, I saw Roman Atwood. I, I usually follow him. He hasn't really been posting videos as much lately. I love his family vlogs, though. And he lives in Ohio, and they got snow. I'm so jealous of any of you that have snow. I live in Missouri, and they'll be like, oh, we're going to get 10 inches, of snow, 10 inches of snow, and then we don't get any. And it's so frustrating. Sometimes we get a good snow, but for the most part, like, it just doesn't happen. So I pray for snow. I know most people hate it because they have to drive in it and all of that, but I don't drive, so I don't got to worry about it. But I love playing in the snow with Alden. It's so much fun. We have snowball fights, and I pull him around on the sled, and um, I want to actually take him to a big hill and go sledding, and we build snowmen, and it's just so much fun. I'm like a big kid in the snow. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, and that, um, I think I found this when I was doing that video with you guys, when I was going through that stuff I found. Um, I put my little witchy pop socket on my space themed case. So this is the case I've been using for the last day. But uh, I thought it looked cute together. So um, anyway, uh, definitely check this out if you go to your Dollar Tree. 
Um, if they don't have it at your Dollar Tree, go to any other Dollar Trees you have around you because sometimes you have to shop around. You know, my Dollar Trees, you know, all of them have like different stuff. I could go to the one down that way and find certain things and I can go down the one to the one that way and I can find completely different things. So, um, but like I said, I just adore that one out by my grandma's house. So I am excited to get to go again Wednesday. It's going to suck that it's going to be my last time going, but... Um, I mean, if I'm ever out that way, of course I can stop out there, but I know my fiance is not going to drive me 20 miles just to go to a Dollar Tree. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, this was just a short little thank you and, um, oh, I do want to show you guys something. So, ooh, let me move these. Those are my Christmas cards I need to mail out. They have addresses on them. I finally put this together. This was also something I brought home from my mother-in-law's the other night. I got it probably last year. And I put, like, all of my most used stuff in here. This that I got from Dollar Tree um, smells so good. I spray myself with it all the time. I might end up keeping this in my purse because it is smaller. Um, so here's my Thrive mascara I use every day that I do my makeup. This is one that I really want to try. It's the Tarte Big Ego. So I just put it next to it so I remember to try it. My everyday primer, my everyday concealer, foundation, setting spray, my sponge. Um, this is the Dollar Tree makeup that I need to try. This I know I found at Dollar Tree a while back. I just don't think I've tried it yet. So I added it to this because I know I have to do like a get ready with me using dollar store makeup. So I'm going to, anything else that I find, well, this is also Dollar Tree. You know, this was the thing I just got, the Wet n Wild Pout and Rule. Um, but these are all lip products. I need to find a brow product from the dollar store and eyeshadow. And then will that be it? Concealer, foundation, powder, blush, I don't use bronzer, highlight, eyeshadow, and a brow pencil. That's what I need for a complete dollar store makeup look. These are things that I found with you guys. Just a couple of serums from BoxyCharms. The eyelash serum I got at the dollar store. Um, this one is the one I have not tried yet, the Skin Nutrition's Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This one I tried the one time with you guys, the Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum. I love these little bitty palettes from e.l.f. This one is, they're just such pretty colors. This one is in, where does it say? Very Bad. I really like that. And... I really need to give this a better shot. I think mine is in, like, the pinky shade, the brightener, to help brighten up under your eyes. So I want to try that. This is my favorite lipstick. This is my Laneige Night Sleeping, or Lip Sleeping Mask. I love it so very much. Um, and then, where else? Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. These I need to try. I don't think I've really tried this foundation yet. This I've tested just to make sure it matches me, but I haven't tried this on my face. This I have tried. I love this foundation very much. Also love this foundation. This is a good serum. That's just an, a facial oil. I need to give this BB cream another shot. Or did I even try this one? I can't remember. This I need to give another shot because I wasn't sure I liked it on my face the first time I tried it by W7. It's Glow Time Radiant Foundation, but I want to give it another shot before I decide I don't like it. And I really like this Pore Minimizing Primer. So just like stuff I use every day, stuff I want to try, give another chance. Like this stuff I actually want to put in my shower, but for now it's in here. Elf exfoliating scrub. This uh, scrub I want to try. This I want to try again. The pore balmer. The pore balm thing. This cleansing stick. And I did find a shaving foam, but since I'm enjoying the one from Dollar Tree, I'm going to use that one first. And then I'll use that. 
but I really like this thing. It was not that expensive on Amazon at all. I can try and link it for you guys, but I bought it so far back I don't remember. And these are removable, so you either don't have to use them or you can put them wherever you want. I just kind of put them like across from each other, so I have another one right here. What just fell? Oh, my uh, headband that was up there fell. That's no big deal. This I don't think I have tried. A Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil by Wander Beauty. This I know I haven't tried yet. It's from the Dollar Store Global Beauty Lift and Firm Eye Cream. So yeah, I'm just very excited for this. It fits up here perfectly. I like that it turns like a Lazy Susan. My deodorant, my everyday. You guys, I've been wearing Paris Hilton for as long as I can remember. And this is the only one I've ever tried by her. Just the black and pink striped bottle. Um... And I'm not even going to lie, this, okay, so my ex from back when I turned 21, this was his gift to me because he knew I always wore Paris Hilton. I have, I had not opened this since this year and I've had it since I was 21. Is that not crazy? Um, but I just love how much, oh my God, it smells amazing. But yeah, I hardly ever buy it because... $30 is pretty pricey for a perfume, but I do love me some Paris Hilton. It's one of my favorite perfumes of all time. You guys know this was a staple in my purse forever, but now it just lives on my dresser and my deodorant. And then here's where I keep like my everyday powder, blush, highlight, my facial cream. And this is stuff I, this I want to try on my eyelids, maybe as like a highlight type of thing. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys. And then I did hang up that board so it wouldn't just fall behind there like it did once. I need to add more pictures to it, but I just adore this picture. My mom had her hand on her face because she knew my mother-in-law was taking a picture and my mom hates pictures, but I still love the fact that not only is she in the picture, but my dad is there, and that was his first time holding and meeting Alden. So this picture means more to me than anything. I, I just love it. And Alden looks like a little bitty burrito. So. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, watch some Pretty Little Liars, play some Animal Crossing, and get some sleep. But I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Good night!